Hey everybody and welcome back to The New Adventure. I'm Monica. And I'm John Michael. And we want to talk to you about our story with our recovery the last four weeks after brain surgery. Here we go. We are on the way and um, still feel pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I'm yeah. Ready at this point I'm just ready to get it over with. Yeah. Um, tired of the headaches and all that. Yeah. Ready to just get on the other side of feeling better. We just went through a drive through prayer. That's my first experience with that. <laughs> Your own Sherry, thank you. I love yeah. you guys. That Didn't means you? a lot. Yeah. John Michael's youth pastor was standing here at the hospital entrance when we got here. Amazing. We didn't know he was going to be here. He and his wife and their dogs too. Hey. And dogs can pray, I'm telling you. So I think we went into this kind of blind thinking oh you know this will be I've, I've had surgeries before so I thought it's just another surgery um, right so typically post or during the surgery Monica our family our friends she has a crew with her yeah we've always I've always been in the waiting room with a whole bunch of people a whole group I've had you know the the chaplain from the fire department's always been there. My family's always been there. John Michael's family's already been, always been there. You know, people from work, loved ones, people from our church. So I've always had a group around me whenever we're going through these times, but this one was different because we can't do that. And y'all know what I mean. In this current situation where our world is right now, I had to be by myself. All right, everybody, I just came out to the car for a little bit um, to get a break from the waiting room, basically, and be able to take my mask off for just a few minutes because, you know, after a while, it gets very tiresome. Um, but anyway, surgery just started about 30 minutes ago. He's been back, though, for almost two hours doing, I guess, prep and everything. There was a lot of different things that had to go on with this surgery. They were monitoring his um, electrical current all over his body. There were going to be different sensor points all over. I met so many smart people back in the um, prep room that I, I was just blown away. But um, everybody from the nurse, the anesthetist, to the PA, to the surgeon, to the anesthesiologist, to the neurophysical, whatever he was. He had a bunch of titles. I really don't know. Anyway. Um, and the nurses, everybody's been wonderful. I feel like John Michael's in really good hands right now. So that gives me peace. But also just everybody has been calling me, texting me, sending me messages through YouTube, Facebook, everything. And I so appreciate it. And all the prayers, you guys just, you don't even know how much that means to me. But um, anyway, we're getting through this. And I do know God is in control. I trust him 100%. This is not easy. That does not, it's not a cliche. I'm not saying that everything's rosy. I'm just saying that I know without a shadow of a doubt that God is with me and I'm going to be okay. And we're going to get through this. It's not going to be easy. We know that there's going to be a long road ahead of us, but um, I'll just be glad when this part is over and we can move forward to recovery. Um, and I hope that, you know, hope that goes smooth for him. It's hard to watch um, your loved ones go through things like this, but um, I just want to encourage everybody else that if you're going through something tough, you're not alone. You're not. God is with you. Reach out because he's there. Okay, so we're here in the ICU. Been here since about 3.30. It's now after 9, sometime at night. Um, surgery went good. Um, that's a blessing. Everything, the doctor feels like it went really good. He's just been in a ton of pain. Um, so getting that under control has been really difficult. So the problem now is just trying to get that under control. Blood pressure's kind of been a little nutty too because of the pain. So um, right now we're just kind of playing with a bunch of different meds and um, he had to have a CT done shortly after surgery and he'll have to have an MRI in the morning. Um, but all in all, he seems to be responding pretty well. They test his reflexes every couple of hours, check his eyes, make sure everything's tracking every couple of hours. Um, so yeah, he's done really well. It's just the pain now getting that under control. Um, 
which is understandable, you know? They cut through the back of his head, so. All right, I'm actually gonna try to lay down for a minute because I've been up since 2.30 this morning. Don't know when we'll get out of the ICU, we'll see. But hey, I'm able to stay, so I'm happy. I wasn't sure if they were gonna let me. I just kind of hide in the corner over here and they don't say anything to me. <laughs> I've had better days. Brain surgery's a booger, but I can do this. I want to say thank you to everyone that helped. I I can't say everyone's name right now because honestly I can't remember everyone's name. Um, but guys, you know who you are, and y'all mean the world to me. Um, even the phone calls to the big things, and the big things have certainly happened, and and we appreciate you guys. I know that a lot of you watching this, you may be going through a tough time yourself, or a family member is, and these are hard times we're living in, and I know things are very uncertain. And you may not be able to be there physically with somebody, but there are still a lot of things you can do. You can send cards, you can send food, you can bring food, leave it on the doorstep, take it to the hospital, and meet them outside at the door. That's what people did for us, and it was huge. And, you know, watch their kids if they have kids, take care of their pets if they have pets. Those things meant the world to us in this time. Absolutely. Um, and, you know... And it gave us a peace of mind knowing that our kids were taken care of, right. and I didn't... You know, my first few days getting home, I was just an emotional wreck. I cried over everything. Yeah. But I knew where my kids were, and that meant so much to mm -hmm. me because I knew they were safe. And I knew they were having fun. Yeah. And having a better time than I could imagine. <laughs> but, you know, that so, was so cool. Yeah, like while we, he was in surgery and while we were in the hospital, they were at the beach with a good friend. Um, and we so appreciated that. And then um, John Michael's brother and his wife, Lauren, again, they took the girls up to Baltimore after they got back from the beach to be with John Michael's aunt um, for another two, two weeks. weeks. They were there for two weeks and she took them into DC to see the statues. They couldn't, you know, a lot of things are closed right now, but they got to do as much as they could do. And she just kept them so busy and just kept them distracted. And that was really amazing. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate that so very much. So it's, you know, but okay, back to like how things have been. So obviously, you know, Anytime you go through a surgery, there's going to be pain. But I don't think we quite realized what this was going to be like. Well, there was a big unknown because with my surgery, it was on my brain. I've known physical pain from with my kidney. We know you're going to be hurting with your kidneys. We know certain things are going to be tough, like moving. Um, that pain's going to go away as those muscles heal, and you're going to be fine. With this one, there was the neurological aspect of it to where they first cut, and there was a physical but then they cut inside my brain and I was having trouble getting my, my hands to work the way I wanted them to. Um, yeah, so he's had a lot of deficits with his right hand. Um, that's getting better though. Absolutely. Yeah, and with his right leg, he, he couldn't... First few days were difficult. Yeah, but going into this surgery, I know we didn't really tell y'all a whole lot until right up until it was like surgery time, but he was going downhill pretty quickly um, and was already walking with a cane before surgery. Um, so actually now you're not really having to use the cane at I'm all. I'm not. My balance is Much remarkably better. better. So um, My faults are better. I can think more clear now. Right. I was even having trouble with that. Yeah. Um, so just so that y'all know, um, the doctors feel like the surgery was successful. They got all of this tumor um, and it was benign. So thank the Lord for that. And um, that was that was a blessing. Mm -hmm. um, now we know that there's more that we're gonna have to face. We're aware. Um, we are not sticking our heads in the sand about that. But for now, we've got to celebrate the victory that we have. And so. we've been through a victory. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a, a big miracle that I was able to get out of the hospital in the timing that I was. Right. Um, I truly feel like God touched me in that one. He and did. Uh, you know, not that y'all ever see this, but my hospital crew was incredible. They were amazing. Y'all. I feel like I owe you my life. I mean, I... Yeah, they were really amazing. I can't... I don't have words for it, but thank you. You know, there were a lot of things. We could feel the prayers. I mean, we really could. And, and God really touched John Michael in a, in a way that... In a matter of 12 hours, I went from not being able to move to walking up and down the halls, going up and down stairs, running back and forth. Yeah. As much as I could. And we know that that was the Lord. Absolutely. 100%. 
and we're so thankful that he was able to get through that pain and get home. However, in this last week, we've had a major setback. Do you want to tell them about that? So, I might get some of the wordage of it wrong, but last Friday, I was feeling really good. Um, I was walking around, talking. Um, I even went and rode with my dad one day while he was at work, and I felt great uh, last Thursday. Last Friday, we went to get our girls, and they were in Maryland, and with Monica, I even helped drive. And we talked to the doctors first, we got approval, and they said, fine, if you feel up to it, go for it, and we did. And then while we were in Maryland, something changed, mm -hmm. and I went downhill back feeling like I was back in the hospital. Couldn't put my finger on it, but then when we got home, we noticed my head started swelling up. Yep. Um, I was having trouble standing. I was having back pain, which I've not experienced, and I, you know, I'd go to stand and I couldn't move my legs. So basically what's happened is John Michael has developed a leak in his cerebral spinal fluid right here in the back of the brain where they operated where the incision was. Um, my brain balloon got a pop. It, yeah, basically. Obviously his personality is still intact. Um, anyway, so yeah, so it's been extremely painful. It's been a difficult week. However, they're treating it at home with medication right now. We're not having to be hospitalized. So that's a blessing, a huge blessing. Anyway, we just wanted to say too, you know, obviously this has set us back a little bit. The projects around here are kind of on hold for just a little bit. We'll get back to them. I mean, it stinks. <laughs> it just stinks. It just is what it is. You can't change it. Um, but then, you know, the RV shelter project, we're still, that's still in the works. We just have to wait on him to recover. Um, it's, it's something I really want to do. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of people who want to come help and, and I, I, you just want to do I it. I just want to do it. I want to be a part of it. Right. It's something I've dreamed of for years, and it's mine. I want to do that, so I'm kind of having to hold on it. Yeah, and then also the fencing project. So those things, you know, will be coming down the road. Now, of course, because we just like life to be extremely crazy, we are having a litter of puppies <laughs> in about four weeks. <laughs> okay, but all that had been planned before we knew what was going on with him. So it was like, well, here we are in this situation. So, so life will still be crazy. Life will still be crazy um, for us. So the new adventure is not going anywhere. It's just going to be... We just didn't know what adventure we were going on. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> you know you start out on an adventure and you think you've got it all planned out and then the Lord decides that he's going to shake you up a little bit. We've said before on our channel we definitely don't want this illness and, and the things that we've been through to define our life. So. If we can just live through it and show y'all that life can go on and you can still have a good life even though you may have some struggles along the way, that's our goal. Yeah, I mean, life's bigger than how you feel in the moment. Exactly. And Everybody has hard times. So, I, I don't want our channel to become a woe is me channel. We just wanted to... No, I don't want pity. No. At well, all. We don't. We just wanted to let y'all in on this process and we appreciate your prayers so very much. And if there's anything we can do to encourage any of y'all, that is our heart. That is our goal. We will see y'all next week. Um, and is there anything else you wanted to add before we go? Bye. Sorry. He's, I don't got, have much. he's got a hole in his head. It's okay. We'll forgive him. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. See y'all.